Julius Francis out with a real quality body shot. Always had ability. When he's got to the top level, Ruiz has had a lot of criticism for being one-paced and dull. And he says, what can I do about it? I try. Yes, that's right. And uh, some dish names on his record, by the way. He was uh, knocked out in a round by David Tua back in 1996. And uh, here is the wonderful Michael Buffer making the official announcements as uh, John Ruiz comes to the ring. And uh, Jimmy Thunder was a victim over 12 rounds to uh, Ruiz. Tony Ticket Tucker was beaten in 11 rounds back in 1998. There was a no contest, by the way, with James Tony, the former middleweight champion. I may, may remember that Tony tested positive for an illegal drug after that. Had a win over Andrew Galotta, Hassim Rahman, lost on points to Roy Jones, the former mid middleweight champion. And it's strange, I did an interview with Irish Radio prior to the Jones Ruiz fight. And I said, How do you think it'll go? I said, Well, Jones is an exceptional middleweight. Ruiz is uh, an unexceptional heavyweight. My money's on Jones. Yeah, he's looking as if he really means business here. He's almost running to the ring as if he can't get that ring walk over fast enough. He knows this is his last chance and he wants to look good. I believe that. There's times when he's been, yeah, you know, he's, he's struggled. He's wondered why he never got the recognition and he's been, a, he's sulked put it plainly he's, he's not really got the best out of himself but in there there is still a decent fighter indeed well a couple of other names on the record of uh, Ruiz worth a mention he uh, he won a disqualification fight with Kirk Johnson had a draw with Evander Holyfield before beating Holyfield and then losing to Holyfield Last big win for uh, Ruiz was over Jamil McCline, who I never really rated, incidentally. And now, from Russia with love, Nikolai Nikolai Does a cracking job, doesn't he, Michael Buffer, Bob? Yeah, and now Valuev's got his own way. He just wants to be called by his name, he says. He didn't like the beast from the east. He didn't like the Russian giant. Now he's got Nico. Well, who's going to argue with him? <laughs> so here it comes Nikolai Valuev then. And I first saw him against Neil Kirkwood back in uh, well, a long, long time ago. In fact, 1996 at Battersea Town Hall when he came and walked over the top rope, which he'll probably do again here. Um, he's beaten some decent lads. Paolo Vidos in nine rounds. Um, Cliff Etienne in three, as uh, Bob mentioned earlier. Larry Donald. Um, don't forget he did beat uh, John Ruiz for the on a majority verdict, but then lost, as did uh, Ruiz, to Ruslan Chagayev. But had a win over Sergei Lajakovic in eliminator for this championship. But he is a very, very big man. Depending on who you believe, he's either seven feet or seven feet two inches tall. Having stood next to him, well, I say next to him, stood well below him. Um, he looks more like eight foot tall, Bob. Yeah, he's huge, isn't he? But he, he's, I think he's, he's brought fascinating to the heavyweight division. We've struggled since Lennox Lewis was just decided to retire. The, the struggle to find a, a, a real successor. Well, yeah, yeah, no, there's been no quality to match Lewis since then, in my opinion. But this man at least makes you, you want to watch him. He's, he's, he's just fascinating to see. Look at him. He's going to, you're right, he just wanders into the ring. He saunters in as if he's out for a stroll. And by the way, I understand he's got 23, size 23 inch boots. Look at that, walks over the top rope. <laughs> yeah, 23, uh, size 23 feet. And he's improved a lot as well, Valua. When he began, he was just a big, raw novice. But now he can box a bit. He's learnt, he's and intelligent. Now to honour the two fighters in the ring. Their respective national anthems. First, the star-spangled banner of the United States of America.
national anthem of Russia. Gentlemen, meine Damen und Herren, willkommen or welcome to Max Schmeling Hall of Berlin, where tonight Sauerland Event and Don King Productions are proud to present the main event of the evening. Twelve rounds of boxing for the vacant WBA Heavyweight Championship of the World. Zwölf Runden Boxweltmeister Chef. Im Schwergewicht. Sanctioned by the World Boxing Association, President Gilberto Mendoza, Supervisor Robert Mack, and FBA President Willy Palatine. The three judges scoring at ringside are from Denmark, Ove Oversen, from Venezuela, Antonio Requena, and from Japan, Takeshi Shimakawa. And inside the ring, in charge of the action at the bell from Australia, a veteran of over 50 world championship contests, referee Derek Milhan. And now, for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, meine Damen und Herren, aus Berlin, uh, let's get ready to run. Fighting out of the red corner, the Rota Eka, wearing black, official weight, 108.6 kilograms. His professional record, 52 fights. He has 43 victories, including 29 knockouts. From Chelsea, Massachusetts, USA, the former two-time heavyweight world champion, John Quiet Man And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. The Blaue Ecke wearing blue, trimmed with red and white official weight, 144.4 kilograms. Professional record, 50 fights, 48 victories, including 34 knockouts from St. Petersburg, Russia. The man known as the Russian giant, former heavyweight champion of the world, Dame Gaspadai Nikolai. Nico Valuya! So this is the one we've all been waiting for then, Nikolai Valuev against John Ruiz. At stake, of course, the uh, vacant WBA Heavyweight World Championship. Now. Those of you sitting out there saying, what on earth is uh, up with Ruslan Chagarp? I thought he was the heavyweight champion. Well, he's what's been termed champion in recess. He's got an Achilles tendon injury, but it appears he'll be taking on the winner when he's better. Is that right, Bob? Yep, that explains it perfectly. Valuev was the number one contender, Ruiz the number two. So rather than wait around for Chagayev, uh, they've decided to keep the situation moving. And here we go. And depending on who you believe, of course, there's either 10 or 12 inches between these two. Massive difference regardless. Referee for this one, Derek Millman of Australia. Now, Value F, well, I personally think he'll win this one without any question. He's a much better boxer than he was the first time they met. And uh, there was controversy surrounding their first meeting, despite the fact that most people thought that Value F was a decent winner. 